Hello YouTube and welcome to Heathen Hacks. Today we are going to make a Max 7219 LED matrix module display what we want by just modifying the code that is already included in the LED control library which you can download from GitHub or install directly using the Arduino IDE software. This is pretty easy to do but a bit time consuming since you have to copy paste and edit a lot of things especially if you want to display a lot of stuff in a loop. Let's go! So, first up, we need to gather the things that we need. A Max 7219 LED matrix module, a couple of male to female jumper cables, 5 to be exact, and of course, an Arduino Uno board. Now, open up the Arduino IDE software. Click Sketch, Include Library, then Manage Libraries. Search for LED control to make sure that the library is already installed. If it's already installed, click on File, Examples, and find the LED control library. Then click LC Demo Matrix. Otherwise, download the library on GitHub. The link for the library and visual wiring diagram is on the description below. So this is the code that we will use. We just need to remove the things that are not necessary for what we want to do. We will remove all this stuff here and check if the code still works. If it compiled without errors, we can continue on connecting the wires from the module to the Arduino. Alright, here's a visual wiring diagram. Again, the download link to the project file with the wiring diagram is in the description below. Or you can just connect the wires with me. I mean, we only have 5 wires to connect anyway. So the VCC is connected to the Arduino 5 volts. GND is connected to the Arduino ground. DIN or data in is connected to pin 12. CS or load is connected to pin 10 and CLK is connected to pin 11 and that's it okay so if you can remember the second part of the video where we opened and removed some unnecessary stuff in the LC demo matrix example from the LED control library this is what it looks like when you upload the code to the board not sure if you can see it Alright, I'm just gonna turn off the lights. Hmm, not sure why it's displaying like this, but it doesn't matter because we're gonna edit the code anyway. Now, open up your browser. Type this URL on the address bar or just click the link in the description below. This is a pretty awesome website if you want to create displays on your LED matrix module. It has a lot of presets, it does provide the codes necessary and is pretty easy to use. So just click on the circle looking things and make an image then click insert. As you click insert, you can see that the Arduino slash C code box is getting populated. You can also see what will be displayed on your module once you click the play button or just view it frame by frame. Okay, once you are contented, click this checkbox to display it as byte arrays. Then copy paste the code into a notepad. You can edit the code like this, or not, it depends on your preference. Okay, now copy paste the code on the notepad line by line on the Arduino software. But edit the names? Of the bytes first. The code has 18 lines so I have to copy paste the code on the Arduino software to match it. Now 
The code on the example has 5 bytes, hence the number 5 here. But my code has 8 bytes, so I have to match it. There. Now on the copy and paste portion. This is the most time consuming part. We need to edit this. We need to match the byte names and the row numbers of the lines above. We have 8 rows, hence the number 0 to 7. Now that we completed the editing part, let's make sure that the code is without errors by compiling it. Whoops. Alright. Click upload. And there you go. Hmm. Looks like I missed something. Oh, okay, wait a sec. And there you have it. Marvelous. Now here's the code of the intro video. I used the same website and just changed the code a little bit. That's all for today. Thanks for watching and see you again next week.